In your other health headlines this morning, the world's smallest heart pump is keeping patients alive in Jacksonville. At least 500 people's lives have already been changed by it. And Ascension St. Vincent's officially did their 500th surgery using this device. And St. Vincent's really well known for all of their heart care as well. Leah Shields live this morning with more on how this can absolutely help patients avoid uh, something so invasive as open heart surgery. Good morning, Leah. Good morning. Absolutely. So, Lou, imagine a tube, obviously much smaller than this one, but at the end of it would be a heart pump. Now, they bring this into your heart. It keeps your heart pumping while surgeons work to fix it. And after 500 surgeries, the doctors here at Ascension St. Vincent's say that data shows this is a safer alternative to open heart surgery. Walking as well as riding up a stationary bike uh, became increasingly more difficult. Uh, I went through a period of denial, I think. I caught up with 75-year-old Richard Goodman from a construction site where he works as a safety professional. A few months ago, he was in the hospital for heart failure. Dr. Sam Garris is the medical director for the cardiovascular service line at Ascension St. Vincent's, and he saved his life using the world's smallest heart pump. This assists the heart in pumping blood. Uh, especially in cases where the heart is weak uh, or requires support. In cases where open heart surgery was the only option, patients like Goodman are now getting another choice. Garris says the Impella heart pump can be used on people whose heart is failing but are too weak for a major surgery. But it could also be used for other patients who may not want to go through an open heart surgery if they don't have to. And the patients, uh, I have a number of patients that have been able to have a happy, healthy life uh, with no chest pain, with no angina, uh, and those patients really wouldn't have had much other uh, options. My hope is to be able to continue working for another year to two years. Dr. Garris says the good news is that this device is available at most hospitals, but however, he wants to see it being used more as an interventional option than as an emergency last resort. Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.